What's going on YouTube? It's uh, Luke Ray FRC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. Welcome back to the channel. I uh, thought um, let's start off with boats. We're leading up to summer here in Australia. It gets a little bit hot to run the boats, probably from 10 o'clock onwards. But uh, we got that little period, 6am to about 9am, where it's beautiful, nice and glassy. So we're just coming out of lockdown. And... Um, I think in December we're going to try to get a get the team together, get the RC Associates together, and we're going to go for a, a boat day, for everything we've got on on the drink, and uh, including the Pro Boat Forty Eight Rockstar, the build that we started. Well, we started over a year ago. That got completed uh, probably three four months ago, but again we're in lockdown, so we can't do much. Uh, we've still got a break in the motor. I'll do a video separately to that on the pros and cons of building a RTR uh, boat from scratch. Hence why it probably took longer than what I had anticipated. But uh, today's video is um, taking the Dragon Hobby P1 uh, gasser and converting it into an electric brushless. So uh, let's turn you around and I'll, I'll show you what I'm on about. How awesome did that look on the water? So this is the P1 Dragon Hobby offshore. It's a 51 inch offshore boat, mono beautiful looking boat we actually picked this up on marketplace i think at the start of the year i think it was we picked this up on uh on marketplace for a steal when it was the actual gasser so i've actually stripped it um but we've left the hardware so the stinger and you'll notice it's got a dual rudder, so how awesome is that? So let me open it up and I'll show you what I've done. So being completely gutted, I've sprayed it with a liner. If I can remember what it's called, I'll flash it up on the screen. So totally removed everything. It's a wooden frame, a wooden rail sorry frame it's a uh, quarter inch flexi drive so the fuel tank used to live here we had a 23cc um, I think it was an RCMK uh, motor originally in it and it lost comp on us and then I think we threw in a 26 and um, just had just had issues trying to get it to start and I, the uh, Bobby uh, said I've had enough and I've done a sweet deal with Bobby and uh, was able to uh, do a trade so stunning looking boat probably going to find because it's got these holes obviously good for a gasser but probably not good for an electric so I'm going to have to uh, close those up as well as these down here as well especially here <laughs> so let's go over to here all the equipment i got and we'll run through what we're going to do with this warm today in uh, in australia it's in australia out west i think it's in the uh in the 30s today so it's spring so we haven't even had summer yet so let's start off the esc so that's a flyer 300 amp boat it's an opto so opto meaning you need an external uh, voltage source to run all your ancillaries and receiver and we got 60 kilo fifth scale uh, servo for the steering we've got a TP uh, 5850 uh, 720 kV 
uh, capable of 71 volts. So we're going to be running 12S because that is a 3 to 16S flyer, but 12S will be enough. Then I've got the motor mount uh, that was purchased from OSE in the States. And we got the jacket that came with the motor to suit a 5850. We got the 8mm, so I've actually sold it on the 8mm bullets. And those are going to go on to the ESC, to the motor output side. Just got to cut those to length. Shorter the better. We got the collet, 8mm collet. Beautiful hardened steel. That was from RC Boat Bits. Got this tri blade here. Um, it's a 7216. It might be a bit too adventurous on, on the first bit, probably 8S, but I'm gonna give it a go anyway. Got the servo mounts. Uh, they're actually a full force servo mounts for the Kraken. So uh, we're gonna be using those. Then we got over here, we've got the battery straps. Uh, battery tray sorry so these are um, a removable tray so you stick this down and then you can actually slide this along very hard to film and do it for, uh, with one hand so I won't fumble around with that so got two of those from RC Boat Bits and then what I was finally waiting for was I got some carbon fiber um, that was designed by myself and also and cut out by James Lowry from Black Knight RC up in uh, Queensland. So I sent him a drawing, he converted it and cut it out for me. So this is the ESC mounting plate and that's the rear plate for the steering servo tray. So this here, I asked Johnny from JCR to 3D print up a receiver box that houses the battery. Don't forget, because the ESC is opto, so you need an external source. So that'll house the receiver. So all I gotta do really, is do an extension because that's going to go all the way at the back do a custom cable for this that's the programmer so it can be housed in the rear so just a quick uh, video on what we got planned for this and what it will take to convert a uh, a gas boat especially a large-scale gas boat into electric um, I originally had it planned for 8s but the, uh, there was a limited amount of 8S boat or marine ESCs available on the market so it only made sense because uh, I only run a majority of my rigs are 12S so it only made sense financial economic sense to actually run the boat in 12S I think it's a decent sized boat at 51 inches to run 12S but then again you've always got the option to run 8S so so the next video of this will be the build video and then in December uh, when everyone is out of lockdown in Sydney, Australia or New South Wales then we'll take him for its first rip along with the Blackjack 42 that we've still got to run and a few other things, the upgraded Sonic Wakes, uh, a bunch of us getting them all out. So. It's, we're actually really looking forward to uh, getting back on the water again. So, all right, guys, thanks very much. You know what to do. Click, bow, ding dong, and all that other stuff. So, uh, okay, take care and brush your hair. See you later.